Y'all know what's going on in here today. Watermelon, some lemon juice, three things, I'm sure, Jeff. Lots of sugar. Mm-hmm. Well, good morning, guys and gals, and welcome into this another episode of Hook, Line, and Singer here on YouTube. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Hope you'll go ahead and thumbs up to like it. Also, subscribe, if you will, and ring that bell to receive notifications every time I upload new content. Never know what we're going to do here. As you know, it's mostly fishing. We also do a little hunting, camping, frolicking, this and that, but also a little bit of cooking, or not necessarily cooking, but things in the kitchen. Today is no exception. It's a beautiful summer day. Now, a beautiful summer day down here in UCLA, which is the upper corner of lower Alabama, it means it's not storming. And it also means it's probably gonna be about 98, 99 degrees with high humidity. A good time to stay indoors and make some jelly. Now, I've made plum jelly, I've made blackberry jelly, I've made lots of blueberry jelly, I've made apple jelly, but I was thinking the other day, watermelon is one of our favorite summertime treats. And I thought, why couldn't you make watermelon jelly? And strangely enough, living right here in the heart of the South, where watermelons are abundant all through the summer, I don't ever remember anyone that I know making watermelon jelly. I don't ever remember my grandmother having watermelon jelly. She may have, I'm just telling you, I don't remember it. And I thought, well, what could be so hard about it? You get the juice just like everything else, couldn't you? Add the pectin and the sugar and get it boiling good and take it up and can it in jars and have jelly. Well, uh, lo and behold, I searched YouTube and I found all kind of watermelon jelly recipes. It appears that the only difference between watermelon jelly and something like uh, Concord grape, muscadine, I've also made those, and a strawberry, uh, is that it requires a lot more pectin. It also requires lemon juice. That's kind of optional in, in most other jellies, but it requires lemon juice because the pH is, uh, is very high, so you have to get the acidity up, uh, which means get the pH down, I think. So I don't have a way to measure pH. I'm just going to do it uh, kind of the way I've seen some others on YouTube uh, do it, using three boxes of original Sure Gel per batch. Come in here to the kitchen. Let me show you how we're gonna get started making this wonderful, tasty watermelon jelly. I watched one lady do it, and she said it's her favorite jelly ever. And loving watermelon like I do, I can see that being the same case for me. But we're gonna find out soon. Y'all come along. So I apologize if you hear the dishwasher noise in the background there. I've got my my ball mason jars in there, sterilizing, washing and sterilizing good, and they'll be nice and warm for when we get ready to pour our jelly in. I have hauled out one half of a watermelon that was cut last night, and then I've got some backup here. Well, that sounds like a good one, doesn't it? That uh, I'm probably gonna have to use as well. Anyway, I've just scooped that out into this bowl. Now, I've seen a lot of people take this and go straight into a strainer with it and, uh, and try to force that through the strainer. I think my way is going to be better. I'm going to take a, a big flat bottom. This is, <laughs> this is a, one of those big drink mugs, and I'm going to just mash all this down. I'm going to press and press and press. You know, we say mash in the South a lot. What is it that, that some people call mashed potatoes, creamed potatoes. Well, in the South, they're mashed potatoes. So I'm not pressing or creaming <laughs> this watermelon. I'm mashing it. I'm just doing that to release that sweet juice. And then I'm gonna pour it through my trusty, uh, ever so antique strainer contraption here. I have no idea what this is called strainer works for me because you put the stuff through there and it strains into there. So, and look at there, you can tell I've been making blueberry and blackberry jelly. You use that deal right there to go around the edges good with that and get all that good juice out. I'm gonna do a little bit more mashing, pressing, pulverizing, 
uh, pureeing. Doesn't that sound fancy? I'm going to do a little more pureeing on this watermelon meat here. <laughs> and then we're going into our strainer with it. Get us some juice. Just like that. I'm going to try to pour it. I might make a big mess here. Not too big. Just going to take that right there. Start working that around in there. Not too hard. It'll press that meat or the flesh of that fruit through those holes. Just want to get as much of that juice as possible. See there? There's our watermelon juice. That's going to be some mighty pretty jelly. I can't wait. We're going to keep doing this until we get our six cups of watermelon juice. Six cups. Six cups of watermelon juice and six and three quarter cups of white granulated sugar is what this recipe requires. Oh, three boxes of Sure Gel Original uh, Premium Fruit Pectin and about three quarter cups of lemon juice. That's all you need. Let's keep juicing here till we get our six cups. You know, making jelly is really fun. It's really fun. One of the neater parts about making watermelon jelly, I'm not sure what other kind of jellies you could do this way is there's there's no cooking required in order to get your juice you just strain it don't cook strawberries but I, I normally make jam with strawberries just puree them in a food processor when you make blueberry jelly or blackberry jelly or plum jelly you need to boil that fruit and usually add some water to it you boil those berries and such to get them to bust up and release all those juice as well as you can see, that's not required with watermelon. It releases plenty, plenty of juice. Mm -hmm. See, tell me that's not fun. You can make jelly with your spouse or your mom or grandmom. Make a lot of good memories. Kansas and I have made jelly together. I've made jelly with my mom. Make those precious memories. And oh, by the way, if you video them, you'll preserve them, hopefully forever. It's four. Uh oh, had a seed get through. Wow, there's two. That's six cups right there. fish that seed out of there. We could call this seed surprise jelly. Be a surprise to bite down on your biscuit and it'd have a seed in it, wouldn't it? <laughs> There's our six cups with juice left over. I think I'll drink that. Yeah. One. Six and three quarters. All right, there's our sugar. Because this calls for so much uh, pectin or sure gel, I'm gonna go ahead and empty it out into a little bowl so that I can pour it at once. Uh, when you're making jelly, that's kind of important. You put your sure gel all in the juice at once. You put your sugar all in at once also. If not, you're opening yourself up for some problems getting it to set properly and be nice and jelly feeling to the palate, also known as texture. As my man I watch on YouTube says all the time, Chef Jean-Pierre, texture. What, how does he put it? The key of the doorway to flavor. In other words, it's the start flavor so wow 
That's a lot of pectin right there. Three quarter cups of lemon juice. Again, that is a necessity in this watermelon jelly recipe. That's all of our ingredients right there. Obviously the most important, six cups of watermelon juice, which is so, so easy to get as you saw. Uh, six and three quarter cups of sugar, three quarter cups of lemon juice, and three packs of original Sure Gel Premium Fruit Pectin. Let's get to the stove top now and make us some jelly. Okay, this is my soup pot slash jelly pot I've come to know it as. I don't know what size it is, but it's pretty doggone big. Um, I like this size because there's less chance of it boiling over. It'll still boil over if you're not careful, but our juice is only going to come to about way down in there. So let's get started. Add the juice to our pot. Wow, that's so pretty. As you can see, I've got my, I've got my lids over there and some hot water. Also, I'm going to add, oh, about, that's probably about three quarter teaspoon of uh, butter to this juice. That normally reduces your foaming a lot. I hope that's also the case with this watermelon. We're going to go ahead and add our lemon juice. Be interesting to see how many pints this yields drop my butter in there go ahead and add all of my pectin in at once stir that real good get all your lumps out all right i'm going to go ahead and put some heat on this turn it on high when it gets close to a boil crank it down a little bit and when this comes to a rolling boil that is a boil that doesn't stop boiling when you stir it, we're going to dump in our six and three quarter cups of sugar all at once. Again, that's very important. Constantly stir this until it begins to boil and comes to a rolling boil. I have a feeling we're getting close to that boiling point. You know what they say though, a watch pot never boils. Let's prove that wrong. It does take longer. <laughs> See that steam rising out of there? That's why you need as long a spoon as possible. Get your fingers. Still gonna have a little foam, looks like. Although, that might dissipate when we add our sugar. We'll just have to find out. All right, I'm gonna call that a rolling boil. We're gonna let that do its thing for about a minute. Hey Siri, uh -huh. set a timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. Go ahead and turn my heat down off high to about medium high. Mercy, mercy, that's hot. So we're about at a minute. Add our sugar all at once. Very, very important. Just dump the sugar in there while you stir gently. Continue stirring. Ooh, that has made that a nice color. Darken it up a little bit. We'll go back to high now. Stir to get all that sugar dissolved. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. This is fun, y'all. If I can do it, you can do it. Y'all give it a shot sometime. Once this reaches a rolling boil, and you let it boil for one minute and remove it from the heat, You've got jelly, my friends. 
That's just all they are to it, as the old folks say. All they are to it. Reminds me of an old preacher we had at our church one time. We had an association meeting that we hosted. He was 94, drove his own self there, which that was a funny story in and of itself because he just stopped wherever he stopped. It wasn't even in a parking spot or anything else. His car was just, just catty cornered out there, right out in front of the church. And uh, he didn't even turn it off. <laughs> so I think somebody turned his car off for him. Anyway, meeting went a little bit long and the moderator, Brother Jerry Smith, I'll never forget this. He said, well, is there anything else? And I think Brother JL had been asleep for about two hours, but he piped up and said, yeah, how much more are they? All right, we're rolling boiling here while I'm talking. Hey Siri, set a timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. <laughs> and anyway, he piped up and said, how much more are they? And uh, the whole church cracked up. It was packed full of people from all different churches. And uh, the whole place cracked up. Turn that back down a little bit now. And uh, Brother Jerry, who was moderating, said, Folks, I believe Brother JL has spoken, and I believe we need a motion to adjourn. And uh, so that was the end of that meeting. Brother JL Lavender, great man of God, now going on promoted to glory. All right, y'all, we're getting ready to pour some jelly up in jars. All right, there's our timer. So off of the heat we go. And these bubbles should. Uh, die down pretty quickly and it's got a little foam but wow it got so dark i'm surprised at how dark it got it's really not foamy y'all this is going to be so awesome poured up in these jars let's do it a lot of people ladle it i just pick my pot up i live on the edge and start pouring I'm going to come to about a quarter inch from the top. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Oh my goodness, y'all. I just licked my finger. And let me just tell you, that is finger licking good. Now, I just use a fork to get my lids out. Nice and warm. I'm OCD, so I try to line the writing on the lid up with the ball writing on the front of the jar. <laughs> and now we're just going to put the bands on and leave those sitting somewhere nice and quiet. Don't have to really, really tighten down on it. Just kind of finger tight, they say. And then a little bit all goes to plan these jars full of jelly will start to cool and those lids will start to pop in the center meaning they are sealed six pints or three quarts of delicious watermelon jelly that's all i'm going to show y'all my spoon that i just got out of the bottom of this pot had a little left in it this is still very warm but as you can see it has made nice firm jelly give that a taste oh my goodness that may be my new favorite mm -mm -mm. i gotta get the rest 
So I hope all you guys enjoyed that video and will enjoy making some of your own watermelon jelly. The best way I can describe it is kind of similar to plum, believe it or not, in that it has that, that tartness to it. I think it's, think it's the adding of that lemon juice gives it a nice, a little citrusy, citric acid edge to it. Makes it a little tart on the palate. If you like plum jelly, uh, you would love this watermelon jelly. If you tend to uh, lean toward the sweeter jelly, something like strawberry jam, blueberry jelly, blackberry jelly, something like that, uh, you would probably like a little bit better. This has a little tart kick to it and I love tart. Man, you pair that with, with something nice and savory like a hot buttered cat head biscuit. I may have to go bake some biscuits now. <laughs> and I'm trying to diet. I really, really like this jelly. It just may become my all time favorite. Hey, give it a try. Let me know in the comments how it goes for you. Let me know how your summer's going. I hope and pray that it's great for everybody. Thank you all so much for tuning in here today. Again, be sure to like and subscribe and feel free to share this video with your friends who you think might enjoy uh, trying their hand at making some delicious watermelon jelly. Some of the easiest jelly I've ever made. Uh, give it a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Just remember folks, wherever you are, God loves you and so do I. And until next time, I will catch you later. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.